You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, all set to do the next video in Will It Slime. This one is the next most popular one requested, milk. So I'm going to do milk, but I thought if I'm going to do these videos, I should try two-in-ones. Like the last one was the baking soda, I tried two different ways. This will be milk and chocolate milk. And the next one, most popular, was uh, ketchup. And I thought, well, and mustard was in the list. Let's do ketchup and mustard on the next one. So let me get going right into it here. It is regular milk. And I'm going to do a half cup in each, and then one I will mix in with chocolate. Here we go. So I can make both slimes. We've had a pretty good success rate on the first three or four. I'm sure there's going to be some liquid that just does not want to combine with the slime material. Okay. Then this one on the right, I'm going to mix in my rich chocolatey Ovaltine. So I can start with the chocolate milk over here. Oh, I want it much more chocolatey than that. Let me do more here. Here, I'll tell you what. Let me use this. This will be much better. You've seen this in the, in the last video. Okay, a little more. Then I don't have to get my spoon covered. Let's make it really chocolatey, really dark. I'm sure people like their chocolate milk really dark. I do. That'll be a nice comparison between the two. One more, two more scoops. Now let's just really go thick. One, two. Okay, let's move that off to the side. I have to wipe down here. Now, I haven't been 100% prepared on the last few videos. I thought I was, but I've added a few more towels that are handy. Okay, here we go. So a teaspoon of slime in each should get a set here. Now let me get my next... Here, let me do this. I could just put two cups in here and pour a cup in each and then that's set. Because that's been my ratio. Half a cup of the liquid and then a teaspoon of slime and then a cup of liquid to give me that nice slime consistency. Here we go. Ooh, I'm going to have to use my... Here, let me rinse these off. I got a little jar here. All right, here we go. Milk for the first time that we know of as slime. I mean, if someone's done it on video, I will have to check that out. I don't know. It's starting to foam. Get a little foamy. Look at that in there. And I thought about changing the background, but then I said, nah, I can't do that. If I go with like a black, it's really going to change the color of everything. So I'll experiment with that maybe in another video, but I'm not ready. Okay, let's see. It looks like it's a little thicker, but not much. Let's do the chocolate one now. Let that sit a little. Mm. Chocolate. I will say my little mixtures help with the lumps. And then all of a sudden now, I see lumps. There you go. So that disputes that. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit now. Let me rinse this. It does have lumps. I clearly see them. Let's go back to this one. Let's clean up a little. A couple splatters. And let's see if we've gotten anything. We have. Look at that. I think what I'm going to do is go just a half a cup of milk. So right now we'll go to one and a half cups. Close. So I don't have to add extra slime. Okay. We'll get you out of the way. We'll be playing with you in a second. And then now I'll add my second 
teaspoon. Okay, that should give us a better slime now. Let's see, it's almost like a, uh, not a pudding, but uh, like rice pudding, I guess, is what it kind of looks like. I can't turn down the temperature of the lighting just by, like that. There, it went down two notches. Okay, I think I'm gonna let this sit just a little bit, because it, it did say originally when I made the first batch ever, 10 minutes before it gets its full slime effect. I don't want to over slime it. My dirt kind of turned into a putty almost. I put so much in. I just kept adding and adding it and not really letting it do its thing. That's good. All right, let's bring in this one now. Nice and lumpy. So I'll bring this down to a cup now. And then one more teaspoon here. I don't know, maybe it's like, maybe the slime attached to the chocolate that might not have been mixed. That could have been a reason too. Hmm, I wonder if that chocolate had an effect. Let's see. There is some sliming, but not as much as the milk. So let's bring this one in. Look at that. I almost have like a complete mix that'll be eaten in a cup. Remember, you cannot eat this. People asked in the last video, can you eat it? No, you cannot. Why would you? Okay, so that one's nice. This one, it's getting there. Let me let that one sit now. Let's dump this one out. Make some room. Let me get a rag ready. <laughs> Gotta be prepared. Here we go. And get the right angles too. Okay, let's dump this one out and see what we get. Mm, look at that. It's kind of like an off-white, creamy, See that lump there? And sometimes I just move fast. I know, I feel like I should move, mix fast, but let me just try to move it around slow. Before I put my hands in it, I'll try to keep this one on this side, the other one on the other side, and then I will make well, no, I'm going to keep these separate, I think. Because I've been saving all the slimes. Because I think it, maybe after a month, I'll just take every slime I've made and put them all together in one goopy, slimy mess. Hmm. Yeah, it's coming out nice. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect slime. Let me get my bowl close. That's another thing I needed to do. Just have it handy. So that I can come in now and grab the slime. Here we go. And I'll be able to do some camera movement this way. Kind of changing what I'm doing to make it a little nicer for everybody. Well, that answers that. Will milk slime? Yes. Does it look cool? Very cool. And as you can see now, one hand. I'm not going to put in my other hand yet until the very end where I don't have to move the camera or zoom in real close. I gotta remember to do that too. Kind of developing a video style here of slime making and play. Yeah, I dropped down the color temperature a little bit more now that we're a little closer. Now I can do this, watch. How's that?
That is cool. It almost has a foamy look to it, doesn't it? And look, when it lifts up like that, the glass here is totally clear of slime. How's that? See that? It's like it cleans itself up. All right, let's move in the chocolate milk now. Let me put this in its bowl. I'm just going to leave the tabletop as is. So I don't have to stop. And look, it's got that jiggly, slimy appearance. Here we go. Number two. Mmm, rich chocolatey milk slime. I have a little bit of the white one, the regular milk. Look at that. This one's a little chunkier. Ew. It's like the dirt. Smells good. Smells like chocolate. Doesn't seem to peel as good. That lighting. Not adjusting to the lighting the way I like it. Hold on a second. Now that we have a darker item on the table. Okay, there we go. A little lighter. Ooh, a bubble. Let me see if I can save some of this and I'll leave some on the table and then I'll mix it with the other one so we have that cool color change. So will chocolate milk and regular milk slime? They surely will. All right, let's get this out of the way. I'm going to save that and then let's get a little bit of this in. I'm going to bring my other hand in finally. Okay, save that, and now we have both. How cool is that? So now I've mixed the chocolate milk and the regular milk and say, milk slime, a success. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this next video in the series. Will it slime? And I've got a bunch of ideas that you've given me in all the videos, so thank you. And I will keep adding them two at a time, I think, two at a time. I'll try to match things up. If you say ice cream, I might add ice cream and then maybe a popsicle or ice cream and a sherbet. You know, two different kinds of frozen treats. So that's all. How I will continue this series. And thanks for watching. Later!
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.